gnarly. Elliot Smith, Between the Bars. Summer Jam hit, Smash Dunk hit. Elliot Smith, what a tragically sad human being. With some beautiful music. This song, uh, I'm gonna show it to you. It's fun to play, it's difficult. Uh, he tunes down a whole step. Uh, I'm tuned down a whole step right now. It sounds much better when it's tuned down a whole step. However, I'm going to now go into standard tuning so you can learn it in standard tuning. And because you're not even sure if you want to really learn this song, you're like, bro, I'm not committed to this. If you think I'm going to tune down, you're out of your mind. So we're going to switch to standard tuning. We're going to play it up a whole step from where he plays it. And then later on, if you decide, you know what, I'm down with this song, I want to tune down, make it sound like him, then you can go for it. Here we go. I'm now in standard tuning. I do think my guitar is quite mad at me for what I just put it through. Between the Bars by Elliot Smith. What a miserable, sad song. I used to think it was about someone being stuck in jail. Come to learn it's about being trapped by alcoholism and other addiction. So, so you know, get ready for a feel-good lesson, but I have some watermelon Waterloo, the uh, perfect companion to Between the Bars by Elliot Smith. Oh! We're in standard tuning. This song sounds way better tuned down. I'm just letting you know. You can learn it in standard tuning. Tune down later. That's like the eighth time I've said that today. A minor chord. Look, I'm not gonna tell you how to play an A minor. Chord, if you do not know how to play A minor, um, might not be ready for the song yet. You might wanna go, you might wanna go practice your chords and then come back and then we can take it from here. A minor chord. However, you're gonna add your pinky to the third fret of the high E string. That gives us what I like to call an A minor seven chord. You can also call it an A minor with a pinky and everybody knows what you mean. I know what you mean. Everybody might not. I, I know, I know what you mean. A minor chord. Uh, let's just get this, let's just get the strumming rhythm out of the way. It continues for most of the song. Start with the open A string. Then do a little baby strum of uh, the middle couple strings. I'm just strumming down. I'm just, just, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strings, just right in the middle. Then we're gonna strum up, making sure to hit the bottom strings. Then you're gonna do one more strum up. So check this out, we've got A, down, up, up. Got it, great. Now you're gonna play the A string again. Uh, and now I need to figure out what comes next. So we're going. Then you're gonna go, okay, 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 okay. We go A, down, up, up, A, down, up, down, up. Can you do that? A, down, up, up, A, down, up, down, up, A, down, up, up, A, down, up, down, up. Let's do it very slowly a couple times. Don't break eye contact. Here we go. A, down, up, up, A, down, up, down, up, A, down, up, up, A. introduction to the song just the a minor with the pinky he does it some amount of times four eight six two probably four i don't know uh then we get to the verse he goes uh, he just does it one time that was my singing by the way that's what that was if you were wondering what that sound was that was my singing we go to the dumbest chord in the song. I don't mean dumb but bad, I mean difficult to play. Uh, Elliot Smith plays it in an unusual way. Let's do it. We're going to go to an F, add nine, bar chord type situation. You've got the A minor with the pinky. Lift up every finger except for your pinky. So your pinky is gonna stay there. Crucial, crucial ingredient here. Pointer finger comes up plays the first fret up on the top string, the low E string. Ring finger plays the third fret on the A string. You see that? Middle finger plays the second fret on the G string, third string from the bottom. 
then here's what here's why I say the chord is kind of dumb. Your pointer finger pushes on that top string, the low E, but it mutes the D string, third string from the top. And to make matters worse, it needs to push on the B string, the second string from the bottom. So we want first fret, then the D string is gonna be muted, and then the B string is gonna be pushed down. So you kinda of have to have your finger in this little arch shape so that you're pushing on top, pushing on the bottom, muted in the middle. When you tune down a full step, this will be easier. The strings are a little more loosey-goosey, easier to play this chord. If you struggle with it in standard tuning, don't worry. When you tune down, it will be easier. We're two chords in. We're like 20 minutes and two chords in. A minor with the pinky. Then we go to that F chord, the F kind of bar chord. See, it's, it's doesn't sound right if you're not tuned down. Just bear with me. Then we go to a C, just a plain old regular C. And then we go to, uh, look, I'm gonna tell you the name of the chord. It doesn't really matter. It's, I, I call it a G6 over B. That's a stupid name, right? Middle finger, second fret on the A string. Skip the D string, skip the G string. Pinky plays the third fret on the B string and then the open E, open high E string. So now, from the beginning, the main hunk of the verse goes. What do you think? Do you like it? I wrote it. Elliot Smith wrote it. Sorry. I forgot who I was. That's part one of the verse. Then we start over. Back to the F, to the C. Then we go to an E. But for the E, most of the time when Elliot Smith plays it, he does not hit the low E first, he hits the A string there. So he goes. And then we go to an F, just a plain old regular F. So that, this here, here's what I just did. Are you ready? See that? That was A minor to C to, no. I'm so mad at myself because I said the wrong chord. I never look in this direction. I look in that direction all the time. I never look out there. There's a window right there and there's some ugly machinery. My name's Stuart. Welcome to Guitar Lessons with Stuart. It's just Let's just take it from the beginning. Let's just take it from the beginning. My computer fell asleep. It's a new thing. It used to never happen. Now my computer falls asleep all the time. <clears throat> if you're wondering what this is right here, that's my knee. Intro. And the song. Weird F. C. Six over B, back to the A minor with the pinky, then the F with the pinky, C, E, F. And that F, if you notice, there's no pinky down there. It's just a, it's just a regular F chord. That is the verse. We just played the verse. Do you remember it? You do that whole entire verse two times in a row. So that means when you do the C, E, then back to the beginning. Does that make sense? You ready to talk about the chorus? The chorus to this song has some cool stuff in it. Starts on the F. Remember we ended the verse on the F. Chorus starts on the F. We go F and then we go to a G. But I know what you're thinking. Stuart, there are so many ways to play G. You yourself and other lessons have shown me like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, five, 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 like three different ways to play G. Well, here's how we're gonna play it in this song. Ring finger, third fret up on the low E string. Middle finger, second fret on the A string. Then your pinky plays the third fret. 
the B string. So we've got F, G. Uh, notice how those chords, I don't play them as long. It's just like one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just kind of strumming down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. This is where the really cool part of the song comes in. We go. Oh, did you hear that? Here's what happens here. I went to an A minor. Then I lifted up these two fingers right here. See these two? I'm gonna call those my ring finger and my middle finger. The one with the ring on it, the one with the middle on it. And I'm gonna keep my pointer finger on the first fret of the B string. I'm going to uh, put my middle finger on the second fret of the A string. I'm going to play that note right there, that second fret on the A string. Then I'm gonna put my ring finger on the third fret of the A string. I'm gonna play that note, all the while keeping my pointer finger pushing over here. I'll tell you why in a second. Then you're going to play the open D string. Then you're going to play the second fret on the D string with your middle finger. Here's what I just did. I went A minor, second fret on the A string, third fret on the A string, open D string, second fret on the D string. If that's all we do, it sounds like this. We go Sounds pretty good. Honestly, it sounds a lot like the song. You could do that. No one would think less of you. I'd think uh, just ever so slightly less of you because I would rather you do what I'm about to tell you, which just so happens to be what Elliot Smith himself did. I feel every time I say anything goofy talking about Elliot Smith, I feel very rude. I feel disrespectful. The man has passed away. He wrote beautiful music. And I'm like, God, I'm not making fun of it. I don't know what I'm doing. Having fun with it. The song is very sad. Almost as sad as the last, uh, the last scene from Homeward Bound, starring Michael J. Fox and some other people. There's a cat in it. Two dogs and a cat. I dare you to watch that scene without crying. Go to YouTube. Homeward Bound, last scene. You will cry. It's even make... Here's what we're gonna do. Instead of just playing in between each of those notes, like you play the second fret on the A string, then with you're just gonna you're just gonna brush the other strings coming up, mostly the B string, which we're pushing on the first fret. So here, here's what I mean. In, in slow motion, we're going. Just, you, oh, I just burped. But do you hear that? Here's here's what's going on here. A minor, second fret, strum up just really lightly, third fret, up really lightly, open D string, up really lightly, second fret, up really lightly. If we play it slowly like that, it sounds dumb, right? If we play it faster, watch this. That wasn't my best, that was okay. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take it from the F, it sounds better from the F. It's a little more folksy. There's a little more flowingness to it. You might have to practice that. Here's how I recommend practicing it. Just do what I just did. Go F, G, A, and then stop right there. That was a great tip, Stuart. Here's how you practice it. Play it. Thanks. You hear that beep? That means the door just opened. Someone just walked inside. Who knows? Who knows why they're here? This is a store. This is a music store. I'm in a music store. There. Now you know it. I'm in a music store. There's like ukuleles right there. There's an electronic drum set. But I'm in here, in my office. Are we done with the song? Not quite done. Computer fell asleep. Everything's going off the rails. Oh, where to the hardest part? We have this. We have an F minor over A flat chord. F minor in first inversion. Am I right, piano players out there? Pinky on the fourth fret of the E string. Mm, which is this one? That's your ring finger. Pinky on the fourth fret of the E string. Ring finger on the third fret of the A string. Pointer finger is going to bar the, the high four strings on the first fret. Look at this. That is a four fret 
stretch right there. Can you handle it? Here's what I get your pointer finger right up against the fret. If you're right up against the fret, you don't have to push quite as hard. It's gonna be a little bit nicer. Look at that. Look at that. Still a stretch though. So this this here. Now you're gonna play the E string and then a little down, up, down, up, or whatever you want to do. Uh, then we're going to play the same G chord we we played before. And then a D7 over F sharp. Look at this. Middle finger, second fret on the E string. Uh. A uh, ring finger, second fret on the G string. Why are you yelling? Pointer finger, first fret on the B string like this. We're not going to even worry about the high E string. You're probably going to mute it with your pointer finger anyway. If you don't mute it, just play the open string. It sounds good. It's a lot of stuff. We just went like this. We went... See that? You see that? Let's take it from the beginning of the chorus. F, G, A. Ooh, yeah. Am I gonna get this right? Yeah, we do that chord for twice as long, then we go to F, and now we're starting it over again. And to the end of the chorus, we do F twice, then F minor. Now here's what I do for F minor. So, uh, okay, 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 look. Look, this is the right way to hold the guitar. F chord is like this, right? The plain old regular F bar chord. You, would you agree with that? Here's what you do for F minor. You get rid of your middle finger. But then your pointer finger has to smash down on all of these strings, and that is just... It's too difficult, so what I like to do is I take my middle finger and I have it help out by smashing onto my pointer finger like that. But wait, there's one more thing you can do because these minor bar chords are kind of tricky, especially on the first fret. That's hot. That's hard. So here's what you can do with this hand, arm, it's called an arm. With this arm, the elbow part of your arm, you can push against the body of the guitar like you're hugging it close to you and then that'll... See, see this, see this, see, look, 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 look. It like pushes the neck of the guitar against my hand, and then I don't have to squeeze quite as hard with this hand over here. Look at that. Because for some of you out there, when you play this chord, it might sound like this. But if you, if you get your middle finger to help, you do this little squeezy thing over here. That's what we want right there. So believe it or not, we've actually gone through all the parts of this song. Let's play through it once together from the beginning. We're in standard tuning. Remember this whole thing. I, I, I know I've said it many times, but I feel very passionate about this. If you tune down a whole step, which means D, G, C, F, A, D, this whole song is going to sound so much better. It's going to be easier to push on the chords. It's going to be uh, easier to play along with the recording because if you play along with the recording of Elliot Smith while you're in standard tuning, it's going to sound like poop. Beginning of the song. Then the singing. Oh, then F. That was the verse. We do the whole verse again. Then the chorus. F, G, A minor. I love that part. G, D7, F, G. Here we go. And the end, F. That's how we end the song. We just do a nice big old strum of the F minor, a minor four chord. Beatles like the minor four chord. Do you know who the Beatles are? Paul McCartney, John Lennon, 
Ringo Starr, Ski. George Harrelson. Now you know it. Tune your guitar down. Elliot Smith. Stewart. Between the bars. Addiction. Waterloo. Not a sponsor. <laughs>